Hi guys. Dallas though. Hey cake nieces, it's Marisha. Today we are going to take a family field trip over to the Dallas though. Over to the Dallas though. I want to make a charcuterie tray made out of desserts except i don't feel like making the desserts so we are going to go to the dollar store go to their snack section and load up on cookies and cakes a few random items and make them couture so if you haven't done so yet go ahead and subscribe to the channel press on the notification button and let's get started Welcome to the, the snack, snack zone. zone. They should have called it the danger zone, not the snack zone. This is a dangerous area. So we need all of the Cakenesis to kind of keep your legs and arms in the vehicle at all times. Out of this entire section, I have found my personal weakness. It is the honey bun. I love honey buns. Which is why I try to never eat them. I went further down and I found something called raspberry zingers. These are interesting. I know nothing of these so let's grab them. We're gonna grab some cupcakes. I don't even know that Hostess made cupcakes. I do love these panda little cookie things and I think that's my new grandma. I feel like everywhere I was trying to go she was trying to go there with me. She was like right there. We were together. We were family. <laughs> she was my grandmother. <laughs> She said, oh, your mom isn't here? No problem, sweetie. So I was looking for colorful things, although I feel like that kind of like was gone because like a gang load of kids came in and the mom was like, get whatever you want and then let's go. They're like, I don't know what I want. And then she's like, well, don't get what you want, forcing yourself to get it. If you don't want it, then don't get it. We're out of time. I was like, oh my goodness. I feel like I was out of time too. And yes, it was just as confusing as that conversation right there I did manage to grab some popcorn I found some little Godiva chocolate domes that look like a version of my favorite forever Rocher and then why do I see a, a cake decorator now little section this shocked the beans out of me I had no idea that this was at the Dollar Tree put some respect on our names they have a whole cake decorating section I mean cake boards icing sprinkles everything that you would need to make a complete cake I'm impressed it says try me hot I know that's right. Tell me if you spotted the empty brisk bottle. Anyway, I grabbed some silk flowers and headed out. When I was like 10, I was low key living off of that chicken sandwich that they keep in the frozen food aisle. They also have like a bag of breaded chicken breast and it's actually pretty good quality. I'm just saying. I spent about $12, which was awesome. That does include the flowers that I got, so that's great. I have to take all of my dollar store items and make them couture, so I melted down some white chocolate and some sweet chocolate. I also pulled out the sprinkles and now I can get to decorating. I want to revamp all of these snacks into things that would make people say, well, what is this? And oh, what's this? And oh, what's this? Oh, girl, it's an Oreo. So first up on the decorating block are these European lemon flavored shortbread cookies. I have had these before. They were in a vanilla flavor and they're actually really, really good. So I'm going to dip half of these cookies in white chocolate. And then because it's a lemon flavor, I'm going to put some yellow sprinkles on there. I thought this would be nice and refreshing and it actually looks like the cookies could have possibly come packaged this way, which is cool. And then I'm thinking, okay, lemon and raspberry goes together extremely well. So why not take some dehydrated raspberries that I have and crush them up on top of that melted white chocolate and let it set that way just for a nice pop of color. Now it's time to pull out those mini Oreos. I'm going to do some chocolate covered Oreos. I'm going to hand dip them in that semi-sweet chocolate just on one side because it's not even that serious to be using like a mold and all of that, you know. And then we're gonna put them off to the side. I am going to decorate them. I have some purple, kind of like purple, pink candy melts that I melted off to the side. You're going to see a lot of pink 
and it was not on purpose i don't know what was going on that day but it was a very pink and yellow day you'll see what i'm talking about so there goes that drizzle i thought it'd be a nice little contrast kind of reminiscent of some fancy candies that i've seen i also have some chocolate covered strawberries that are dehydrated as well and i topped a few of those with that why was i so excited about these zingers just because I've never seen them before. I'm going to cut them into petty four size or like bite size. Obviously charcuterie means finger food. So we're gonna stick to the theme. These are cream filled, they are vanilla cake and they are covered in a raspberry something or other and some coconut. So I'm going to add another element of white chocolate and strawberry crunch crumbs. So now we have a raspberry strawberry zinger delight with coconut it's like a whole tropical sensation very random and tasty let's pull out these cupcakes why did they make me so happy it's something about that thin glaze with those sprinkles and that little curly cue. Yeah, I'm going to cover that entire thing with my own raspberry frosting. I do love the way it looks. Like, I love the way it looks on its own. But I've, I've had this frosting and I've just been wanting to use it. Once again, pink. Okay, I don't know why. And why was this some of the best popcorn that I've ever had? I would have never expected that. So I'm taking my popcorn and I'm going to put some white chocolate on it and some sprinkles yes so we're going to mix this around and when it sets you're going to have nice big bite-sized clumps of chocolate covered popcorn so delicious here's my favorite the glazed honey bun yeah i prefer the unglazed but this isn't about me right now this is about the tray so I'm going to use a cookie cutter to actually cut out little rounds and it's funny because you know what this is as a whole but when you see these little bite-sized pieces you're like oh what is this oh it's a honey bun I showed this to a few people and they're like oh what's that with the glaze on top oh it's just a honey bun you've had it like a thousand times I'm sure and then you get to eat the scraps that's fun so let's move on to our actual building of the charcuterie tray. I have my wooden board here. I always like to put sauce cups down to bring some height to the board and it also gives you the opportunity to add dips and sauces, maybe the chocolate sauce, maybe adding the rest of the melted chocolates that you have left over to the cups. At this moment, I realized that everything I picked up was brown or beige, and then everything is pink or red. I need to set some type of contrast. Like, I can't put these snacks on another brown platter. So I grabbed my white platter, which is actually what I used in my previous charcuterie tray that I did over on my Marisha Couture channel. Here it is. <laughs> I feel like already this is so much better. So I'm going to stick to one cup. I put some of those mini Oreos in there since they are so small. And there's no real vision until you start putting everything down and kind of adjusting. My whole thing is to mix up the variety, mix up the colors. I don't want everything that is the same color bunched up in a group, which is kind of difficult when everything is yellow and pink. But I always make sure to have a garnish. In this case, I'm going to use those dehydrated raspberries. I have my cookies on there, my popcorn, my cupcakes. And thank goodness for these weird silk flowers. Make sure if you do use fake flowers, from the dollar store to wash them. Swish them in some soapy water, rinse them thoroughly, and even spray them with alcohol. I added those to my tray, and I'm gonna be honest, it actually brought it to life. <laughs> This is kind of gorgeous, if I do say so myself. This does look gourmet, and it does look couture. It does not look like these were just a few things that I got from the Dollar Tree. I hope that you guys give this a try for your next party. Couture in a dollar store dessert charcuterie tray. Bye, guys. My biggest tip is just to make sure that it looks full. You don't want to see any space. It's kind of like a painting. My mom used to always tell me when I was painting, make sure that you don't have any blank space. Fill up the entire paper. So I kind of keep that in mind when I'm doing edible artwork as well. So I actually took 
these um, leftovers because I didn't know what to do with them. And I put them in baggies and I was going to take them to Philly with me to give them to my family only to end up leaving them at home. It's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. Maybe next time I'll actually be able to follow through with that. But anyway, the Cagnista comment of the day is going to go to Deborah Bergen. On my How to Wrap Your Kids Boards video, Deborah said hi everyone. So she's saying hi to you all. I said hi to her. I don't know if she was talking to me or not, but I just wanted to say hi anyway, because I'm a part of the Everyone community. Hi Deborah, welcome. I hope that you're well. I appreciate you commenting on my video and saying hello to all of the Cagnistas. It is a fabulous world to be in. We like it very much here. We like it very much. I want to do Dollar Tree videos. I'm letting you guys know that right now. They're just easy to do. The baking is already done. All I have to do is go to the snack zone. Drop a little $5 bill. I want you guys to head over to MarishaScouturecakes.com. I'm putting all of the recipes onto the blog. I'll see you guys soon. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Yes, I do. I'm going to the Dollar Store. Dollar Store.